Well, Greg, well, first of all, I, I, uh, I want to say congratulations and, and uh, welcome to the Organogo family on behalf of uh, Bernie Chua, our CEO, uh, Shane Moran, our global master distributor, myself, and the hundreds of thousands of distributors and uh, millions of customers that we have around the world. Uh, we want to welcome you to Organo Gold. Thank you. Uh, officially Thank you, my friend. Yeah, yeah, I'm actually really looking forward to it. It's, uh, you know, I've been very, very lucky in my life. Um, and I count one of these days as one of my luckiest days. And the reason why, Holton, is because, you know, in my life as an entrepreneur, you get a lot of unique opportunities. And Organo Gold is one of those rare, unique opportunities. And uh, so for me to be able to sit here opposite you and uh, to be able to look into the future to where we can take Organo Gold and, and my involvement uh, is one of those moments where I say I'm a lucky man. You, you know, I, I believe both are, are lucky. Uh, people ask me about the success of Organo Gold and, and could we have planned things any more perfectly? And, uh, and, and we couldn't. There's a lot of luck that have, has actually taken place as our company has progressed, uh, you know, starting back with some of the things with Napoleon Hill Foundation and how all of that came together, uh, things with some of our partners that we have in China. Uh, those were things that we couldn't have planned it. And, uh, but right now today, I'm sitting here with Greg Norman, one of the most established uh, names, uh, you know, synonymous with success, professionalism, and entrepreneurial uh, success, uh, specifically within the sports arena as well. And, uh, and now being able to say Greg Norman and Organo Gold within the same sentence, you know, uh, I believe it's another one of those chapters where not only yourself is being lucky, but Organo Gold is being lucky as well. And so we. The, the, the most poignant word there is entrepreneurialism. And uh, Organo Gold is very much that way. And I'm that way. And, and I look at my career. Uh, when I was uh, target focused on being the best I could be on the golf course, I relied on a lot of things. I relied on my mental skills, my physical skills. I relied on my due diligence. I rel relied on my boldness, my aggressiveness, and my diversity of skills, right? So as you wrap all that up into just being a golfer, and you take that to the next level of being, fortunately for me, the number one player in the world, I never really tried to be the number one player in the world. I wanted to be the best I could be. And I've taken that whole format, that whole theming, straight into my business. Now, in my business, it's an entrepreneurial business. Now, when I look at what exactly what's happened with Organo Gold, exactly what you are, Holton, you're bold, you're aggressive, you're diverse, you absolutely understand exactly what the consumer wants, what your distributors want, you get it, you're married to your brand, which is the most important thing. And if you're married to your brand and you understand the, the magnitude of what you have, right, and also the magnitude of the people around you and how to grow it, um, that to me is what entrepreneurialism was all about. So I've been lucky in my business to be able to do that and grow Great White Shark Enterprises to, to a point where you and I can sit down and you and I can be like-minded and you and I can ex execute on a business plan that we both believe in of growing your brand, Organo Gold, to a bigger and more powerful position on a global basis. So uh, that's the spirit. That's what you and I have, and, and that's what we've reflected uh, through our respective companies.